Hey, what's up guys? It's Gary here. I'm um, back at the house now after uh, finishing up some garage sailing. Hit a couple more on the way home. There was a couple um, just right down the road from where I live, so went ahead and stopped by there. Wasn't really expecting much, but luckily I got a couple things, so um, all in all, you know, it's a pretty good day. It was a really good week for me. Um, I was a little upset about today just because, like I said earlier, there's a program I use online where basically you copy and paste, um, you know, all the addresses you're going to go to and it'll plot out the fastest way of getting, you know, basically doing a round trip from where you start back to your house. And usually it works really well, but this year, um, you know, there's a lot more sales going on than, than usual. And basically once you get above 30, it just, it freaks the program out. It doesn't really know, it doesn't know what to do with it. Um, so, you know, my, basically, like I said, it just kind of, it, it had a pretty decent little round trip on there, but some sales, I mean, you know, Columbia, where I live, is a pretty good sized town. So we, we'd start off north, hit a few sales, come down this way, and then it would take us about eight miles south to a, a sale, hit a couple more there, and then it would take us 10 miles north back to another sale, and then another eight. It, it was just all over the place. I don't know what the deal was. So that was my fault. I should have spot checked it before I did it. So we drove like 80, 90 miles. We wasted a lot of gas, a lot of time. Um, I hit a lot of sales just because there was a lot of community sales once again. But beyond that, I, I didn't get to hit hardly any of the sales I had printed out. So I was a little grouchy about that. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm still kind of sick. I'm getting over this crap that I've had all week. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a bad mood as it is. I just haven't felt good all week. <clears throat> so like I said, guys, what I'll do, you know, of course, as always, I'll run through everything that I got today. Also show you the stuff that I got during the week. Um, let you know what I paid for it. And I have a new, kind of a new template I'm going to start using, you know, after I show the, the items that I get. I'll kind of do, kind of like on uh, American Pickers where they show what they bought, what they paid for, and what it's worth. Um, you know, if you guys like it, let me know. If you guys think it's, you know, it's unnecessary, you don't really care for it, also definitely let me know. So just, I'm just kind of playing around with some new things. Um, so I won't go in any particular order, I'll just start grabbing stuff and showing you guys what I got. Okay, so this first set that I got here, I was really, really happy to get. Um, it was a funny story. What was it? I think it was this last Monday night when I started getting sick. I was, my wife and I were up talking because I couldn't sleep, and I was telling her about that the, there's a whole bunch of Nintendo 64s that I want to get after I got that uh, that smoke black one. I was really happy about, and there's a whole bunch that I want to get, but the main one that I was I've been wanting for a long time and was really hoping to find was the Pikachu edition. And I said I'll probably never come across it just because I doubt many people in this town have it, and if they do, they're either going to keep it or you know they've already sold it. <clears throat> so the next day I went to go pick up my daughter from school and I decided just to stop by the pawn shops because they're kind of on the way. So I hit up some pawn shops, a couple thrift stores, and I went into Value Giants, which is a new thrift store here in our town. Um, walked up to the case and I instantly got like into, you know, Japanime silly get goofy mode. I was, -hee -hee -hee! Because I, I saw what they had in the case and I got really, really excited. Um, so this is the first thing that I saw, you know, it's the Pikachu N64. Um, unfortunately, it does. It did not have the controller, so that really sucks. But it's in really good shape. It is missing the uh, the expansion pack bay, you know, cover piece. But it came with the cords. It came with a red controller um, and a and a triple play baseball game, which is, which is nice. I mean, I don't have it, so at least it's a game I can add. Um, but when I saw it, they had a sixty five dollar price sticker on there, which <clears throat> is it's not really a bad price. It's just you know the, I, I'm trying not. I, I don't want to pay retail or anything close to it. I'm, I'm a tightwad, so um, I, the guy saw me. He, he started, you know, he, he's like, "It looks like you're in heaven, man. You gonna buy it?" I was like, "You know, I would, but not for that price." And I was looking around a little bit more, and then I saw this in there as well. It's the, uh, you know, the Game Boy Color, the, the Pokemon edition, <clears throat> and the price tag on this I think was like 25 or 30 bucks, which again is not a bad price, but for a thrift store, it, it was just a little much. And so uh, the dude and I were talking for a while. He's, he's ex-military, you know, I told him I was ex-military, we got to BSing for a while. <clears throat> and he said, you know, basically, just to get this stuff out the door, since you're a, a, a fellow service, you know, a brother in arms, tell me what you want to pay for it, I'll go get the, the little price sticker, I'll fix this, you know, I'll change the price on this and I'll hook you up with a deal. Um, so I was really happy that he did that, he was a really nice guy, I, I don't, I hope he doesn't get in trouble if anybody sees this. But, um, so I ended up getting the Pikachu N64. For I think I got it for I want to say 30 bucks, and then I got the 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 Pokemon Game Boy for 
15 or 20. So I got all that, and it also came with uh, a Pac-Man game for the Game Boy. Nothing really special, but... Um, so I got the whole deal for like around 55 bucks with tax. So I was really, really happy about that. Um, you know, like I said, especially what this goes for, I'll eventually find a controller for it. I'll get the little, you know, the cover for it, so it's not too big of a deal. But I was really, really happy about that, especially since, like I said, we had just talked about me wanting to find this, so that was really cool. Okay, so this next stack of games, um, I went to GameStop yesterday, I tried going back to work, and I had a fever when I got there, I felt like crap, so I, I took off after a couple hours, <clears throat> and while I was waiting for the doctor to call me back to get my medicine, I stopped by GameStop just to kind of kill some time, and the dude that works there, I, I know him pretty well, so he, he told me about their sale they were having, is buy two, get one free, on used games under $20, and they had some pretty decent stuff in there, so I, I got a few games here. Um, I got Tenchu Shadow Assassins for the Wii, <clears throat> Nintendo Land for the Wii U, which looks like a lot of fun. I'm really ha happy to have this for my family. Um, it'll, it'll give us something to play all together. Uh, Beautiful Katamari, which I'm really happy. I, I just finally played We Love Katamari. That was the first time I've ever played any of the games in the series. Um, what was it on Wednesday? And it's a pretty trippy game. It's really funny. It's really, really addictive. I played it for like six hours straight. I couldn't stop. It, for, for you guys that have never played or don't know anything about it, you're basically a little alien, uh, a prince, I guess, basically, and you have this little ball, and you, you roll stuff up on it, so, like, at first you start off really small, you're picking up, like, pieces of trash, uh, paper clips, and then you kind of move up to batteries and bigger things, and then you, you'll collect more and more stuff, and you'll get bigger, so you get, like, you know, pencils and pens, and then you get bigger and bigger, and then eventually you'll start picking up people, and then cars, and buildings, and it just... It's insane the stuff you start picking up and how fast it goes from there. It's it's really, really fun. I definitely recommend giving it a try. But when I played it, I had a really bad fever, so I was tripping out even, even worse than normal. So it was just a really crazy experience, but I'm definitely going to try to get the whole series. Uh, picked up Endless Ocean Blue World. I don't know anything about it. I've seen a lot of people pick it up, so it must not be too bad. I, I, I guess it's just kind of a relaxing game where you swim through the ocean or something. <coughs> Uh, pick up Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes. Oh, and this one was lightsaber duels, I'm sorry. So I got all that, um, all six games. I think I paid 50 bucks for it, so it was a pretty good deal. I was pretty happy to grab those. Alright, and in that same little area, there is a Goodwill, so I, I went ahead and stopped by there as well. Um, they didn't really have much, I just kind of grabbed a few random things. <clears throat> um, the only GameCube game that they had was Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown, which I didn't have, so I was happy to grab it for three bucks. Um, I also grabbed Imagine Artist, which is three bucks on the DS. Um, it's for my daughter, she loves, you know, stuff where she can draw and paint, stuff like that, so I was happy to get it for her. Um, I picked up a CD. I don't know why I grabbed it. It's Sugar Ray 1459. I, I used to like them a lot back in the day. Um, every once in a while I get nostalgic for 90s music, so it's just kind of nice to have when I'm in that mood. <clears throat> and then a PlayStation game I was really happy they had. I've always wanted it. It looked really cool. It's uh, Tenchu Stealth Assassins. I've never owned it. I just I remember when it came out it looked really cool, so I'm, I'm glad to finally own it. Alright, so this next deal was actually, it was really cool. Um, it's its the pawn shop I always talk about. Every week I go there and grab stuff. They're such awesome guys. I mean, they always cut me really good deals. And they've usually got pretty good stuff in there. And it's its really, it's probably the, the least busy pawn shop here in town. So it, it definitely helps me out. <clears throat> and the first thing I always notice when I walk in is their Blu-ray section. And they apparently, like within the last week, somebody dumped off either a whole bunch of Blu-rays that they stole or their entire collection. Because they had some really good stuff in there. Um... And as I've said before, they usually do five bucks a piece, but usually I bundle up and get a good deal. <clears throat> so the first one I got here was Hot Fuzz, and it's still brand new sealed. That's why I'm kind of wondering if these are stolen. <laughs> um, but this movie is absolutely hilarious. If you haven't seen it, um, it's you know the guys from Shaun of the Dead. It's uh, it's hilarious. Definitely give it a watch if you haven't. Um, Zombie Land, and this one's still sealed as well. Very very good movie. I need to watch it again. I haven't seen it since it came out. This one I was really surprised. I again I think they they probably stole it. 
it's uh the, it's the wolverine um and this is like the 3d blu-ray dvd like the whole combo set which i think it goes for like 20 or 30 bucks so the fact that i got this for three or four dollars i was really happy to get um same thing with this one this is gravity and this one's still brand new sealed as well so i haven't seen it yet i've heard a lot of good things and i i don't know why i haven't seen this yet but elf it's a steelbook one it's really cool i like it um, like I said, I haven't seen it. Looks really funny, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to stock up on Christmas movies, just because I that's we love doing that around the holidays. And as far as games, they didn't really have anything new. <clears throat> just a couple, a couple of PlayStation games, uh, and I think I got these for a dollar piece or maybe two. I got Space Jam, Oddworld, Abe's Exodus, and this one I've never heard of. It's kind of it looks kind of weird, but it's called The Unholy War. Like I said, I really don't know anything about it. I need to research it and see if it's any good. But I picked it up. It was, it looked neat. It was cheap, so why not? Oh, and that that lot of uh, games of Blu-rays that I bought at the pawn shop, I spent 25 bucks. So it was a phenomenal deal. I mean, just one of those Blu-rays alone, brand new, is worth that much. So I, I got a really great deal on that. Okay, so that was all the stuff that I got this, you know, throughout this last week, non-garage sale related. Um, the rest of the stuff that I'll show you guys is stuff that I picked up today. Um, this first stack here is a couple of GameCube games. <clears throat> when I went to the sale, she didn't have them out, but I went and asked her if they had games. Um, she went inside for a couple minutes, brought these out. She had a couple um, 360 titles, but they were sports. And I was really, really glad to see these because I don't have a couple, and the ones that I do have um, are in really bad shape. So I got Mario Golf. Um, Toadstool Tour, which I have, but it's in really poor condition, so this is an upgrade. I'm glad to get it. <clears throat> uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, which I've already got, so this one, um, you know, I'll probably just sell it to kind of help pay for uh, the immense amount of money I spent this week. Um, and this one's Mario Party 7, which I did not have, so I was really, really happy to get this. And I got the three games for <clears throat> 10 bucks. She was kind of wanting five apiece, but I, I talked her into 10, so I was really happy with that. Okay, so this stuff is just a couple things I grabbed. Um, th this is what I grabbed just down the road at a couple of sales that were going on on my block. Nothing really special, uh, but they were cheap, so I grabbed them. He had about six GameCube controllers there. Um, no system, no games for the system, but um, most of them were in really bad shape. Like the thumbstick was broken off or really loose. So I grabbed the only two decent ones he had, just a couple Indigo ones. <clears throat> They're pretty good shape, and I got these for two bucks a piece. And the thing that I was really happy to get, I got a Pokemon Silver Edition, which is an absolutely phenomenal shape. I mean, it looks really, really nice. And he says it still works, still saves. He only asked a dollar for it. So I, when he said a dollar, I was like, does, <laughs> does it work? And he seemed offended when I asked, but it, it was just a really cheap price for that. So I was really happy to get this. I, I got these for, I think, five bucks for the set. So really happy. Alright, now th this stuff, this was the first sale that I went to, <clears throat> so it actually kind of gave me hope that I was going to find a lot of stuff. Usually, I've been lucky, the last two weeks I went garage sailing, the first sale I went to, I, I got some, some pretty good stuff. Um, if you guys saw my video last week, that's when I got that huge stack of Xbox games with, uh, with Battlefront and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, nothing really fancy here though, I got an Xbox 360 wired controller, which I didn't have any of those, and the wireless ones that I have don't... I don't have the battery packs for them, so... And then I just grabbed a couple games. They didn't really have too many great ones. Um, Batman Begins. Unreal Championship. And Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And I got all this for five bucks, so it was, it was a pretty good deal. Okay, so the, this last little set that I'm going to show you guys is... It's easily the best the best find that I got today. Um, I was really happy when I got it. As I said earlier in my video on the car, um, we hit a bunch of sales in a row, and I wasn't finding anything. Like I, with me not feeling good and everything, I'm just kind of a I'm kind of a whiny ass. I, I'm kind of a little girl when I get sick. I won't lie. <laughs> so I I was feeling really um, pessimistic about finding anything, and I just thought about coming home and going back to bed. <clears throat> but I went to the sale, and I almost didn't stop because when I pulled up, it's kind of in a not the best area in town and I looked up to see what they had it was a couple college kids they had like guitars and 
I don't want to be mean. They just they looked like you know hipsters, kind of hippie people. So it was like plants and guitars and stuff like that. So I almost didn't get out, but I went up and asked him anyway. Just thinking since he's younger, maybe he would know somebody. And he's like, yeah, dude, I've got like a whole filing cabinet full of Nintendo stuff. So my, my heart sank when he said that. I was just trying to think of what, he, what could be in store for me. And I walked in there, he opened up a big filing cabinet just full. And he, he wasn't kidding. I mean, it was overflowing with the Nintendo stuff. So I was really, really, really happy. And he said, you know, some of the stuff he was really, really close with, or I, you know, he had a lot of sentimental value too, so he wasn't going to let go. <coughs> the first thing I saw was um, four box NES games. He had The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, and Star Wars, which were like in pristine condition. They looked brand new. The only one that I got from him was Star Wars, which I'll show you here in a minute. He wanted to hold on to the Mario and Zelda, which I, I don't blame him. They were in great shape. Um, so I kind of went through all the games, and I'll, I'll quit chatting your ear off, I'll show you what I got. Um, on the N64, I got Super Mario 64, <coughs> Duke Nukem 64, which I don't have, so I was really happy to get that, uh, Super Smash Brothers, which is in really good shape, it's just got some writing, but I should be able to get that off, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Mario Party 2, and Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, which I have, but my label is pretty jacked up, so this is an upgrade. Um, and I actually had bought Majora's Mask, the you know the hologram or the holographic sticker one, and apparently I left it there because I can't find it here, so I'm gonna have to go back and talk to the guy. Um, and then for the Super Nintendo, I got some really really good RPGs. I was really really happy. I was amazed he so he wanted to sell this stuff. In, in all honesty, <clears throat> so I got the Seventh Saga. This one I don't know anything about. It's called Kablooey. I, I, I know literally nothing about it. I just, it looked kind of interesting, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> Rocco's Modern Life, which for, for you guys around my age, or even maybe some of you younger guys if you've seen it, it's it's such a hilarious show. The game really sucks, but um, this show came out when I was a kid on Nickelodeon, and it was so funny. It was, you know, off the wall like Ren and Stimpy. So I, I grabbed it just for that purpose, I, and I didn't own it, so... <clears throat> Um, this one is Lufia and the Fortress of Doom, so I was, I was really happy to grab that. Uh, Breath of Fire, very happy to grab that as well. And The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare, which is probably nothing great, but I, like I said, I, I didn't have it, that's why I grabbed it. <clears throat> and then I also grabbed a really cool looking Nintendo 64 controller. Um, it's one that I don't have, it looks, I've not really seen this before, it looks like it's like a highlighter color. It's really neat. I've never seen it. So. And then the stack of NES, or a, a couple of NES games that I got. Um, he didn't have too many, and the ones he did have, he wanted to hold on to, which I don't, I don't blame him. <coughs> um, this one is The Simpsons Bartman Meets Radioactive Man, which I've never seen before, so that I grabbed it just for that purpose. This one I was really happy to get. I've been trying to get it for a while. I could just never find it for a good price. Um, and that's Double Dragon 3. <coughs> um, and then this one is the box copy of Star Wars that I got. And like I said, if, if you can see it, I mean, it's in absolutely wonderful condition. It looks brand new. Um, I was really happy to get this. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I was surprised he wanted to sell it, because I think he was a pretty big Star Wars fan, too. And then the last thing I got here <coughs> is uh, Star Fox Adventures, complete for the GameCube. And he also threw in Mario Kart Double Dash for free. Um, and I've got the case for it some, over here, so I'll, I'll have that complete and have another copy to get rid of. And he was pretty much calling out, like, as, as far as pricing goes, he was only wanting like 2 and $3 a piece for these. And by the time it was all said and done, I got 17 games for 40 and that one controller for 40 bucks. So it was a really, really good deal. Dude was super nice. I was really surprised he sold me half of this stuff, especially for the price I got it for. Um, and like I said, I did get the Majora's Mask. I just need to go back and get it. So I was very, very happy about that. That really picked me up and gave me <clears throat> some motivation to keep going. But after that, I really didn't find much. Like the next, the next sale where I found games was that GameCube stack I showed you with Mario Party and stuff like that. So after that, I, I just couldn't find anything. I was grouchy about my phone or my that map taking me all over town. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's what I have. Um, my voice is about to give out on me, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. 
But thank you guys very much for watching. I know this is kind of a boring episode. I don't have a lot of energy to be goofy and try a whole lot of new stuff. So um, I'm just going to get this posted and hopefully try to do something better next week. So like I said, I'm going to try this new this new format where I show you guys, you know, kind of a American Picker style. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, if you don't like it, I would really like your feedback to kind of go from there. Um, so yeah, other than that, that's all I've got. Please like, subscribe, uh, leave comments below. Let, let me know what you guys got. Let me know, you know, what you guys think of what I got. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to go take a nap. So take care. See you later.